Alrighty guys, welcome back to the game. We are getting ready to have our third game, final game in the three game series between the Frisco Rough Riders. It's time for baseball on MLB and Network. A good one on tap for you this Midland. afternoon between the Frisco Rockfighters and the Midland Rockhounds. It's baseball on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Felix Guillen, the right-hander from the state of Wisconsin, is on the mound here. Harold, what do you got? Well, he's got four pitches to work with and uses them all at all different times in the game. So he keeps hitters off balance and gives you a lot to think about. Into the box now, Walter Elliott. And we are ready for Hitting some daytime for baseball. Riders. Center fielder, Walter Elliott. Swing and a ball hits softly on the ground. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Popped high in the air. Guillen is there for it. Makes the play, one away. And now we'll look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. What do they need to do to get a win on the road here today, Harold? I tell you, I, I thought long and hard about what the key was for them, and I, it comes down to one word, discipline. If they're disciplined at the plate, if they don't run into outs, and if they throw to the right bases, they got a chance to win this game. Now at the plate, Clinton McCormick. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this will wind up a foul ball. And we'll have summer sun in abundance this afternoon. 95 degrees at first pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind the one, too. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Lamb over to his right. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Batting third. Standing Rob in, Fielder. Antonio, Antonio Santiago. Santiago. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Into the windup and the pitch. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. And they can't run it down. Skied into straightaway right. Nixon is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So a fairly painless top of the first. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Eddie Gamboa, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What's your take on him, H? Matt, last season, he was one of my favorite pitchers to watch. Every outing seemed like he was on, just witnessed by the ERA. It's in the low ones. You have that kind of an ERA, that means you're dominating throughout the whole season. So this year, I'm looking to see if he can continue that trend of dominance. So striding in, Tommy Brown. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Brown. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Nothing in one count, here it comes. Fly ball out toward left center field. Santiago is after it, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And he'll get in there with a double to start the home first. He just tattoos this ball right here. Tried to sneak a fastball in on him? No way. Drives it to Second deep left play. center field gap, and Ryan. that was a nice job okay. to get the barrel around in time to score that baby up. Okay. 
Standing in now, Bryant Lopez. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Brown rounds the corner and is headed home. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. And he is in there with an RBI triple. Well, there's one way to get our first run of the game across. Good hustle there on an RBI triple, and they're in good shape to possibly make it 2-0 with another base hit here. Stepping in now, Matt Olson smoked on the ground up the middle, and that's through into center field, base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's a 2-0 ball game. Comes to the plate with the runner in scoring point. position. He swung at that first Better pitch early, kind of ambushed him. I don't think the pitcher Love expected him to swing at that first pitch. Into the box now. Corey Lovett. Oh, high. Deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field as they move on top four to nothing. Man, he threw a two-seamer, hoping to get some movement, but that thing did nothing to fool him, and he squared it up perfectly. Pretty swing of the bat there. Batting pass, Patrick. In now, Matt McBride, as he lines it hard to the right side, but out of play. Man, he's flooding with danger. He gave up a home run on that very same pitch. And this time he comes right back with it in another dangerous location. He better be careful. Swing and a line drive. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. Here's the 0-2. Another one sent foul. Another 0-2 home. Hit the other way out toward right field. Rutledge has a read on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting lineup. Harold, what do they need to focus on in this one? Well, Matt, this is a pitcher's duel all the way. And the key here is going to be how do you score runs if you get any. You get a runner on, you're going to have to be aggressive. You hit a ball in the gap, and he's on first base. Send him home. Take those chances because they're not going to be very often. Digging in the switch hitter, Jimmy Comstock. First offering on its way. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Legs churning, he's headed for second. Arms pumping, he's hustling for third. The relay throw, but he is in there with a triple. And this is what good major league hitters do with a pitch on the outer half. They don't try to do too much with it. Just square it up the best you can and drive it to the opposite gap. By the time the outfielders react and get to it, he's well on his way to third. Into the box, Carlos Reyes. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is into score. Well, I love it when guys are aggressive with the runner's scoring position. First pitch, he jumps all over to drive in the run. Fielder, Owen Lamb. Standing in now, Owen Lamb. He swings and lines it to left. But well, this will hang up just long enough to be run down in shallow left for a tough second out. Batting left. Now batting, batting Will Nixon. Will Nixon.
First delivery to him on the way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Elliott is in pursuit. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. Well, this doesn't have the makings of a start he's going to be proud of, does it? Now he's getting absolutely right. pounded Patrick here David in the first Hitter. inning, and I would Tommy. think they're not going wow. to let this go on for much longer. Digging in to try it again, Tommy Brown. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt, down five, another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. Lying toward the gap in left center. That gets down, and the inning will continue. In the score, the runner from third. And the second run will score as this suddenly is now a 7-0 ball game. The way the game is played well, today, the leadoff guy, he drives in two runs, and you don't Ryan. think a whole lot of it because okay. he's now one of the guys that's an RBI producer. This is not your dad's old game. This is the new school. Into the box now, Bryant Lopez, as he will swing at the first pitch and line this one into left center, and that's going to get down for extra bases. And the runner from first comes around to score. Great piece of hitting here. Men on first, and they're playing him to pull, but he crosses them up and goes the other way with it, making the outfielder cover a lot of extra ground. That allowed the runner to come all the way around from first to score, and that was a great piece of hitting. Now time called here is here comes the skipper from the third base dugout and we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be all for his You're starter this play. afternoon. Kevin Saucedo comes on to work Number much four. earlier than anticipated Kevin obviously Saucedo. as he'll try and right the ship in the very first inning. Slice down the left side, but power. Oh, he's clearly hitting off the fastball right there. You don't hit one that hard if you're not looking for it. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Santiago giving chase, and that ends the inning. But not before they claim the lead here as they bat around and hang an eight spot on him. On now to the top half of inning number two. The Rockhounds lead it eight to nothing. Striding in, Ken Kondo. He leads off this Leading half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs Ken they just gave Kondo. up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by the opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. Love it. On the move. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Time for a look at the majestic right defensive here. alignment for the home team. Right and let's take a look at the shortstop. I love the defense up the middle, but he's the key guy. I love his hands, how he catches the ball clean and is able to make throws. When you have a guy that catches it clean, everybody relaxes. Stepping up now, Sherman Rutledge. Oop. Right down Broadway that time. Strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hit sharply on the ground. Lopez from shallow right, in time to first, and there are two away. Having set, thrust up, Arturo Piedra. Stepping into the box, Arturo Piedra. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it off. Hit hard on the ground at first. Olsen fields it cleanly, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Rockhounds are out in front, eight to nothing. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Corey Love it. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. 0 1, here's the pitch. 
Well hit to right. Uh, that's a foul ball. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. So he took advantage of the young guy right there. He continued to throw fastballs. First one, second one, then he got the base hit on the third one. Don't be afraid to mix in a curveball. Stepping in now, Matt McBride, as he rips it on the ground to second. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. Well, they pick something up. They're just ambushing him. First pitch swinging, no aggressive, nice and the scoring stop. runs is paying <laughs> off Jimmy for him. Comstock. Into the box, Jimmy Comstock. A dive, and he knocks it down. And the recovery is too late at second, and the bases are loaded here on what will be scored as an infield single. Yeah, the pitching coach takes a stroll out to the mound, and with a pitcher this young, you just want to let him know that he's out there for a reason, and to trust what got him here is good enough to get him through this. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Carlos Reyes. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Man, I tell you what, if I had a timeout and I went out there to talk to him, I'd say, look, we just got to minimize the damage. Bases loaded, no outs. We don't want them to blow the inning totally open. From the belt, kicks and deals. Slap hard the opposite way. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And now Gracious just getting the ball back into the infield is becoming a problem. Now that's a nice piece of hitting. That's going to get him to the big league Hello someday. There. Taking the ball the opposite Owen field. You're going to have to hit the all fields if you want to be effective in the major. <clears throat> Standing in now, Owen Lamb as he lines it hard to the right side but out of play. He's set. Here's the 0-1. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Bases loaded here. Nobody out. On a line to shortstop. All right, here's how the visitors are lining up defensively, courtesy of Majestic. Outfield play has been the key for this club, and nobody better than their left fielder. He's able to go to the corner, cut balls off, and keep away more than anything. Guys advancing the double. I love watching him play defense. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes this the other way to right. That's in there. Base hit. One run scores. Well, for such a young hitter, that was a nice piece of hitting the opposite field. Nice to see him take the ball the other way. Tommy Brown. In now, Tommy Brown, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike sure. one. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. There we go. You're good to go. Bacon Cheetah. The 0 and 1 delivery. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Elliott is under it. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. The cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Great work to do a job right there. He's not a big power bat, so he was looking to get a fly ball to the outfield and give this guy a third a chance. Makes it a 12-0 ball game against Frisco. 
first offering on its way. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. And they can't run it down. And it goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And that's off the left field wall. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. Wow, when well, you're swinging the bat like he is, you want the game to go to extra so you can now get some more ABs. That's his third hit of the game, and his swing just keeps getting better and better. Almost hit that one out of here, but he'll take a double anytime. Stepping in now, Matt Olson. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he pushed it just a bit too much. and will wind up a foul ball. Okay. Bacon cheetah. Ready with the 0-1. Did the same thing. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Santiago sprinting after it. And the runner from third crosses the plate. And the second run will score as well. And he is in the second base with a two-run double. Well, you just keep adding on. That's how you win games. And he's a big part of it right here. That's his third RBI, and they extend the lead in this ball game. First pitch coming. Here it is. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Santiago has a beat on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. All told, ten men come to the plate here. Six of them score. We've played two full. The Rockhounds lead it 14 to nothing. Coming to the plate now, Robert Kang. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Way in front of that fastball. No ball. He's straight. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. On the ground to the right side. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Batting eight. Second baseman, Joel Bruno. Settling in now, Joel Bruno. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a swing and a ball hit in the air down the left field line. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Into the box now, Michael McNeil. Into the windup and the pitch. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Set to deliver the 0-1. This is in the air to left field. Lamb has it in his tracks. And that's the third out. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Rockhounds are out in front, 14 to nothing. Digging in and looking for more, Matt McBride. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. First pitch on its way. Hit hard back up the middle. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. So a leadoff single will be the start to their half of the third. Ready for another shot now, Jimmy Comstock. Two for two with a triple on his batting line to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. And a backhanded try into the hole that's short, but this gets on by. And the throw will go to second as they get to force out. Oh, man, I don't know how that happened. Looked to be a base hit to the outfield, but then all of a sudden the throw comes in and they get the force on the play. To be honest, that just can't happen. First delivery to him on the way. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. Comstock rounds third and is digging for the plate. And not in time as the run scores. Well, Shays are around for a reason, and that hit right there is a reason they say baseball is a game of inches, right? Just barely fair, but that's not much consolation to the guy standing on the mound. Nice RBI two-bagger. This is line to left. 
Boy, and the shellacking continues as this is down for extra bases. The runner scores from second, and he is in there. Ready for another chance? Will Nixon. He doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into this appearance. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one okay. away. Well, that's a yeah, line drive hit. single, but the runner's not going to score. Now, remember, wow. with less than two outs, he had to freeze. Hit it a little bit too hard at the wrong guy. He'll take the hit, but no RBI. Into the box now, Tommy Brown, as he lets it in the air to right field. Moving under it, Rutledge makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And the run is in to score from third. Hey, one of the things you want to do as an offense, right, is stay fundamental and keep pushing. A great job there. Sack fly pushes the third run across in this inning. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Here comes the first pitch. And this is sliced hard down the left field line. That gets down, and the inning continues. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. I think they're way past due changing their approach to this guy. Whatever they're doing strategy-wise, it's not working. That's his third double of the game, so he's feeling pretty good at this one. Squared that one up just a little late. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. And the second run will score as well. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. They just keep throwing it on this. Team. That's That's five it. runs so far, and they're not finished yet. They've been teeing off on everything they see, and they're showing no signs of stopping anytime soon. Standing in now, Corey Lovett. Oh, and this just jumps off the bat here as this is to deep straightaway right field, and you can pretty much forget about this one. That is a long home run. Two-run blast to straightaway right field, his second of the game, as they just continue to pour it on here. Well, when it left its bat, I didn't think it had the height to even clear the fence. Shows you how much I know that thing was a laser shot that just kept going and going and going. Wow, that was impressive. Into the box, Matt McBride. High in the air out to center field. Elliott is there to make the catch, and mercifully, the side is finally retired. The final damage here, 10 come to the plate, 7 runs score. Three innings complete. The Rockhounds lead it 21 to nothing. Digging in for his second at-bat, Walter Elliott. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking Center for their first it. base runner Walter in this one. Elliott. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are now able to make in Jessica the middle innings hitter. of this game. Clinton McCormick. Striding in once again, Clinton McCormick comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game in there for strike one zero oh and one man i tell you what i love how he's pitching right now he has continued to pound that first pitch for strikes when you do that you set yourself up for great success yeah, and he gets him to swing through that one he's in control zero oh and two here comes the nothing in two pitch and that is swung on and missed he's down on strikes and the first two are retired here to begin inning number four well he's really locked in at this point in the game on the bump 
So far this inning, four pitches and two outs. Got the first guy on one pitch, then absolutely dominates this at bat with a three-pitch strikeout. Stepping in, Antonio Santiago. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one-two-three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Fernando Gonzalez answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Digging in, Jimmy Comstock, two for three for him so far, including a triple. The shortstop, Jimmy Comstock. Swing and a line drive. And that is down as that could be two bases. Around first, he's digging for second. And he will pull in here with a leadoff double. Wow, not sure what the pitcher was thinking. Serving up a fastball right over the heart of the plate. His eyes got as big as saucers as he blasts this thing, putting himself into scoring position to start off the inning. Frisco is just not in it. Rough Riders are getting clobbered. In now, Carlos Reyes, as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Another <laughs> RBI spot for him. He's already got three in the game. And that's in there. Base hit. Comstock is on his way home. Now that this is well up the line, and he's safe at home playing. Back-to-back fastballs. He put the first score. one by him. He said, here we go, try it again. He said, come on, bring it. I'm ready. And he timed it perfectly. 22-0. Medlin leads it. Over Frisco. Look Here's liars. the first pitch to him. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Comes set with the 0-1. Line towards center field. Elliott patrolling center makes the play one out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now batting right fielder Will Nixon. Digging in once again, Will Nixon. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. First pitch of the at-bat. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Now the relay home. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Well, when you leave a pitch that high in the zone like that, you have to expect bad things to happen. So instead of a double play ball, he gives up a shot to the outfield, and that brings the runner all the way around from first to score. Into the box now, Tommy Brown, as he lines it out to center. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Digging in now, Bryant Lopez. He's looking for hit number five in this one right here. First pitch on its way to short, hit hard. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We played four Rook full. Riders the will lose the third game in, front, in the series. 23 to nothing. Our now next to the play, game, Ken Condo. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Will be in Corpus Kondo. Christi. Into the windup and the pitch. Lifted in the air out to left. Lamb has it, and it's a quick out number one. Now batting. So stepping in, Sherman, Sherman Rutledge. Rutledge. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. Now he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. And he'll put this away for the second out. 
Still a little early to start talking about these things. There you go, right there. A big goose egg in that hit column, worth keeping in mind as we get later into the afternoon. 23 runs, 26 hits, no errors. Frisco, nothing. Into the box, Arturo Piedra comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now this pitch is swung on and popped up. And this will also be head toward the, the right inning. side of the infield. Lopez is there, and it's a three-pitch inning as this side is retired. 15 up, 15 down to start the ball game. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Rockhounds lead it 23 to nothing. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Now the 0-1. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Elliott has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. Ready once again, Corey Lovett. Already a pair of long balls on his line in this one, so we'll see what else he has in store here. Hit hard on the ground to second. He lays out, but he can't make the play, and it's through into right. He picks up his fourth hit, and I'm telling you, what a ridiculous day. You look at that box score tomorrow. He's going to have four hits, and two of them are home runs. Standing in now, Matt McBride. And this is going to be a foul ball. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Heading out towards shallow right. Rutledge on the move. He's got it, and there are two down now. Coming to the plate now, Jimmy Comstock. And he'll complete the cycle if he can blast one over the wall here. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Elliott moves over, and that retires the side. Frisco is not doing too good. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Are just Robert killing Kang. him. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Robert Kang. Hit down the line at first. Olson is right there. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting. Second baseman. Joel Bruno. Digging in to try it again. Joel Bruno. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into the windup and the pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. I'm sitting there shaking my head. I'm tripping, man. I mean, I've never watched a guy throw this many strikes. First pitch strike. He's 100% in the game. Every batter, first pitch or strike. Oh, Into the windup. Here guys comes the 0 2 pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. McBride has a play. Two down. Now batting. Catcher. Michael McNeil. Digging in for his second at bat. Michael McNeil comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And this is popped fouled off to the right and back into the seats. Oh, and that is right down the middle for strike that two. Manager, well, that shot tells you to. everything you need to know. He's really a little frustrated tonight. Uh, you know, this has been a tough game. They haven't swung the bats well, and they need to start getting some offense going. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. There's a swing and a high pop-up. Olsen is there for it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So six perfect innings for him out of the gate as he's been masterful to the bottom of the sixth inning. The Rockhounds are out in front, 23 to nothing. Your Kurt attention, Brown 
Gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Digging in and looking for more, Carlos Reyes. He'll have the opportunity to kick things off as we begin the home sixth. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. And that's another base hit for him. He's on a tear in this one. So the leadoff man reaches in their half of the sixth. Boy, and they have not oh, been able to two. get him out. Number this two. is now a five-hit oh, ball game for him here, and those don't come along every day. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swing and a line drive. A step on the bag for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. Now batting. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Will Nixon, and he's trying to make this a five-hit ball game for himself right here. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a line drive. And it's a foul ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Lined into center field. That's a base hit. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five-hit ball game for him here, and those don't come along every day. No, they don't, but I tell you what, he's been working hard. He's been locked in right now. Just his approach. You knew he was going to have a good day. Five hits. And there he goes towards second. Line drive to left. In there, the base hit. They'll give that runner the green light, headed around third. And now this is thrown widely, just getting it into the infield. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Well, that's the difference between a harmless error and a costly one. When the base is empty, that doesn't hurt that much, but with a man on, that allows a run to score. Into the box, Bryant Lopez, and he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. One Don't error on Frisco. Don't touch on MLB Network right after this. Gosh, you're getting their butts kicked. Back here for Texas League Baseball on MLB Network. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Striding in once again, Walter Elliott. He'll Frisco. try and do what he can to work it. toward cutting into Walter, this big this game deficit. This is won by the Rock Town. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. That pitch right there, Matt. This guy can't catch up every hitter this in a 24 in the game. He's throwing a first pitch strike you know, too. That's ridiculous. A 24 into deficit. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swing and a high pop, drifting into foul territory. Olsen is over, and he puts it away for the first down. Now well, our next game is a three-game series between in once again. the middle Clinton and rock hands. McCormick. Over and two on his line thus far. First offering on its way. And it's that's softly the on the Christie. ground first. We had to San play. Antonio to play and that. To the San Antonio Mission. For a four game series. Ready once again, Antonio Santiago. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Nixon moving forward, but it's the center fielder who gets there. And that ends the inning. for the traditional seventh inning stretch. So three for Corpus Christi, four for San Antonio. And then we'll face He'll start three. things out here in the bottom of inning number seven. Arkansas Naturals for a three game series into the windup and the pitch there's a ball ripped toward the gap in left center he's around first heading for two 
And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. You always want to start an inning off with a bang, and I'd say this qualifies. He gets a fastball and doesn't try to do too much with it. Goes with it to the opposite field towards the gap and picks up the leadoff double. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Thought this will be speared at third, and that was self-defense all the way. One gone. Now batting, catcher. Ready for another Matt. chance? McBride. Matt McBride. He flew out in his last at bat. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And this is fouled at the plate. Now this pitch is lined into left center field. That's a base hit. And the run is in to score from second. When we looked at this game on paper before it started, I don't think any of us thought it would go down like this. Sometimes it's hard to explain when a game is this lopsided. A lot of things just kind of snowball on you. One thing leads to another, a big hit, which leads to another, some bad defense, some shoddy pitching. Next thing you know, you look up, and you're on the wrong side of a whole lot of badness. Line hard to the left side. Foul. Runners on first with one down. Tommy just ramps up and gears the fastball by him. 0-2. That was an interesting pitch, Matt. Look, we're in a double play situation, and everybody knows he's got that hard sinker. Get that ground ball, maybe get a double play. But he didn't throw it. He just threw a fastball. I don't know what he's doing right now. But he got it in there for a strike. Lifted down the line and right and back out of play. Count holds it 0-2. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. And another foul ball. Runner at first here, one man out. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Ready for another shot now, Carlos Reyes. Carlos Reyes. Has a look, now the pitch. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. Oh and one, here it comes. And this will be fouled away. The 0-2 home sent out to straightaway center field. Elliott moves over. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. A run on two hits, and they leave one. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Rockhounds lead it 25 to nothing. Standing in, Ken Kondo. He leads off their half of the eighth, Leading and they've been Frisco. unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Ken yeah, he Kondo. settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. And a step on first for the out, three unassisted. A pretty simple way to start the eighth Herman. inning out. A ground ball, and he's five outs away from a no-no. Sherman Rutledge comes on with one gun here as he looks at a cold strike one. I really like how he's been throwing a lot of first pitch strikes in this game. That first pitch strike, it just opens up the whole strike zone and what you can do as a pitcher. Swing and a miss, it's 0-2. And this is fouled back and out of play. One out, nobody on. Again, he sends it out of play. Hit hard up the middle. Base hit, and the perfect game comes to an end here in the eighth. Uh, so these fans will not get to see history here after all well, as the no-hit bid ends Good right job. here with one out Our in the girl, eighth. Piedra.
Stepping in now, Arturo Piedra as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this will wind up a foul ball. Now the 0-2 pitch. And a fastball. Blew it right by him, and they're two down. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. Right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Can't ask for much more than this. Eight shutout innings thus far. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Rockhounds are out in front, 25 to nothing. Chris Dixon comes on to pitch now, now hoping for better Chris results Go. than the other Number arms 25. that they've run out there in Chris this one. Dixon. Owen Lamb will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Ready with the 0-2. Hit in the air to left field. Moving under it, Santiago. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting. Right fielder. Will into the Nixon. box now. Will Nixon. from the stretch and that swung on and fouled straight back here's the 0 1 in the air now out to right field Rutledge giving chase he hauls it in without any trouble and there are two away digging in Tommy Brown he's got three hits including a double to this point First pitch on its way. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Oh, one pitch on its way. Slap hard the opposite way. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Oh, the Rock Counts will win this one. And after that, they'll face Corpus Christi. Now at the plate, Joel Bruno starting things for his side Leading in the ninth Frisco. as they face the Second improbable baseman. odds of Joel trying to come back Bruno. in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. Zero. Can't mill in your chances as a professional. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Takes a knee on the fastball. He's still looking really solid here in the ninth, and I'm sure that big lead has helped him pitch free and easy, but to me, it still looks like he's approaching it like it's a close game. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Lopez scoops it up, go on the first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Michael. Now batting, Michael McNeil, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Here's a cold strike about five high, nothing in one. I guess uh, it is 25, and one nothing in the end. Drilled to the right side, and that is going to sneak on through into right. It's a one-out single. Number nine batter comes through that time, as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. Walter Elliott. In now, Walter Elliott has a look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0 and 1. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. In there, and he's ahead 0 2 now. He's really put himself now in a position where he's got to battle. Took the first two strikes, didn't swing, and now you just grind out the AB. Now this is on the ground at first. We'll see if they can get two. And they'll take this over to the bank for the out. But meanwhile, the runner moves into scoring position at second. Now 
of batting. Striding into the box, Clinton, Clinton McCormick. He's McCormick. their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Wow, talk about total dominance. Nine innings, only two hits allowed. That's about as good as it gets. This guy was as good in the ninth inning as he was in the first. So close to baseball history. 25 to nothing the final this afternoon. Eddie Gamboa was slapped with eight earned Man, runs as he guys, takes the loss. They got so wolf. that's a wrap for this afternoon. For Harold, Dan, Hello and there. the rest of our crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Time of the ball game, four hours and 33 minutes. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Man, that was a good game. We killed them. Why, thanks. Thank you so much. Three Saturn 90. Time to get a subscription. Oh, okay. Already subscribed already. Cool. Man, nearly to level 20. But anyway, guys, this is it for now. We'll have a three-game series with the Corpus Christi Hooks. And after that, we have a four-game series with the San Antonio Missions. Oh, okay, what's this? You're welcome, sir. But uh, anyway, guys, we're going to have more games in the afternoon. We're going to have our first game with Corpus Christi and... We'll have a three-game series, like I said, and we'll move on to San Antonio and then Northwest Arkansas. So anyway, this will just about do it. We'll see you in the next stream.